Hi everyone, hopefully Kay, so today I'm going to do a collective haul. I had my first ever like pay packet at the end of August, like I've obviously worked before but now that I'm working like full time it was quite a lot of money to get so I was like woo, so I'm a little bit crazy. So this is all stuff like from the past month, it isn't just from like the past couple of weeks because I know we're only like nine days until September so yeah I haven't gone like really really crazy in the past few days, this is like over the last month but um, if you're probably wondering why have you bought so much, it's because I have just been paid and I thought I would treat myself, like you know, it's my first pay packet and I thought, you know, let's treat myself and then I can start saving next month for like important stuff. Okay, so first things first, I'm going to start with um, the makeup, I think. I've, I've got a mixture of clothes and makeup so I'll start with the makeup first. So, so I picked up the Body Shop BB Cream, it's the all-in-one, it's colour adapting, so there's three shades. I picked up number two because shade three came out really, really dark and it like adapts to your skin tone. I have to say that it does work quite well, which is weird. Um, let me just show you it on my hand. It comes out like this, so it's like a white liquid and then you just rub it in and as you can see it just goes to a natural skin tone and then you just get this glowy radiant glow afterwards so it's really nice it hasn't got any SPF in which I know is a bit of a no-no for some people personally that's a bit of a plus for me because um, although I do like to wear SPF in the day when I'm going out at night or I have got like a few events like for example I've got like, my cousin's wedding in October and then I've got my graduation and I wanted a still relatively light foundation I could wear but one that's not going to make me look like a ghost face because Laura Mercy has got quite a high SPF so this will be perfect for them. It's got a pretty low coverage, it's not as high, like Laura Mercy isn't high coverage but this is really really low coverage but to be honest I've, I've been really liking it so far, I think it gives you a really nice glowy radiant look so I will be posting a proper review on this on my blog like when I've used it properly but at the moment I'm really enjoying using it. I also got it with 30% off when you have like a love your members card or whatever that card is. Um, so yeah, you can pick it up cheap. I think it was £12 full price, so it's still relatively quite cheap. So yeah, I've been really liking that at the moment. And then I also picked up, whilst I was there, their new tea tree pore, min pore minimizer. Um, so basically it's a primer, it's good for like making your pores look smaller, uh, skin feels purer, smooths primers and instantly mattifies. I've used this a few times, I'm not completely sold on it yet. It was about £7, so it wasn't like really expensive or anything. Um, it smells of tea tree which is a bit weird because that's something I associate with like putting on spots and putting on at night and yeah I didn't notice a huge difference in my pores I think the pore professional by benefit is a little bit better but I'll continue to use it again there will be a full review up on my blog when I've got to grips with it. Okay, so next I bought a couple of nail polishes this month and they're like in the same shade range really. First of all I picked up this one by Maybelline, it's their Forever Strong Pro and this is the colour Ceramic Blue. I picked this up after seeing it on Sammy from Beauty Crush's Nails in a couple of her videos and I was like that's a really nice colour. It's basically a pale lilac-y, it reminds me of like Palmer Violet's colour, it's got like a blue sheen that doesn't really transfer onto the nails but I thought it was really cute. It was about three, four pounds, it wasn't very expensive and it says up to seven days wear and I think it lasted quite a long time on my nails about chipping so I really like that. And then I also picked up the Essie Bikini So Teeny Polish which I'm wearing right now. I had to get this, there's been such a big blogger hype about this polish that everyone's been wearing it. It's definitely the new mint candy apple and could I get my hands on it? No, the reason why I want it is because I haven't got a shade like this. It's a really pretty bluey lilac, lilac. It's got shimmer in it, but that doesn't transfer to nails. But I really like it. Don't you think that's a really cute colour? So yeah, I really, really like it. I managed to get my hands on it and I did like a, basically a little bit of a dance around boots. My mum and sister and boyfriend were just looking at me like, what is she doing? Next, I did make a bit of a cheeky Mac order and I still feel really naughty about this, but I just keep thinking, you work hard for your money, Cory. Don't worry about it. Basically, they've had a few new collections launched this week, and one of the ones that I was really excited about was the face and body collection because they're doing cream bronzers. Now, I have wanted the Chanel Soleil de Tan Bronze Universal, it's got quite a few names forever, but I just haven't been able to like justify spending a £30 on it. I have got a £10 boot voucher, so I thought I might maybe spend it on that at some point, but my local boot doesn't have a Chanel counter. So I thought there was a little. I can't talk. For the time being, I'm going to get 
um, Max version, which is a cream bronzer, and it's their Pro Sculpting Cream, so it looks like this. And I got the colour Pure Sculpture because it's, I think it's like the shade that's in the middle really, and I wanted to use it for like contouring and bronzing and then maybe also for blush. I've actually got it on as blusher today, I don't know if you can tell, but I'm kind of bored of blusher, I prefer the more kind of bronze look. So yeah, that's what it looks like. It does look quite dark, it's quite scary, but it blends in, so that's fine. But yeah, that's it, That I've already used it, so that's why it looks quite messy. It's, I really like it, it is quite dark, I'm kind of thinking, oh, should I go on for a lighter shade? But once it's blended in, it looks quite natural. So now is the task of trying to work out how to contour. So I've been watching lots of like Kim Kardashian makeup tutorials, because obviously she is the queen of contouring. To go alongside my purchase, I bought a, my first ever MAC brush, and I fell in love with the brush and I just thought I had to have it because it's, I haven't seen a brush like this, I don't own a brush like this. So it's the MAC 163 and it's called their contour brush and I just thought it was perfect for contouring. I really want to master the knack of contouring, I think it's a really great look and I think that if I can incorporate some cheekbones and slim down my massive nose, it would make a bit of a difference because I've got like a right round face. So I bought this, it was very expensive for a brush, I'm not going to tell you how much it is because I can't even admit how much I paid for a brush. It wasn't that bad but I'm thinking to myself, I could have bought a whole collection of Real Techniques brushes probably for the same price but whatever. It's a really nice brush, it's great for contouring, so like now I've got these two, I've got the tools, I just need to sit and have a good old play and work out how to contour. So maybe next time I make a video you'll be like, you'll watch it. And you'll be like, oh my god, is that Kim Kardashian? Obviously it won't be. And obviously a bit of contouring is not going to make me look like her, but... You know, just thought it would be funny. Right, next, a little bit of a cheeky, feel unique purchase. They had their summer sale on. I think it's ended now, though, which... Yeah, I think it ended, like, today. Um, so yeah, I went on it. They've got loads of brands, like, 20%, 10% off. So I was like, right, I'm going to make a purchase. And I bought the Zentan Dark Lotion Absolute Luxe. I've been meaning to buy this for so long. I love Zentan's Dark Lotion. But this is the one that everyone talks about. How massive is it? It's like bigger than my head. How crazy is that? I got it out and I was like, bloody hell, it's like almost the same length as my forearm. Um, so yeah, it's like that darkest one that Zentan do. You should know when I'm a bit of a tanorexic, the darker the tan, the better. Um, and so many of my favourite beauty bloggers rave about this fake tan, so I thought I'm going to get it. It was like 15% off, so I think it was like, again, it's a really disgusting price for fake tan. I think it was about £26. But on the Zentan website, full price, this goes for like £40, so it is a bit of a bargain. It's a bit of a bargain in that retrospect. And I just thought, it's September, I know it's quite sunny at the moment, but... Who can predict, like I bet it will last for another couple of weeks and then we're just going to go straight into autumn because that's what it always does. So I thought when my tan starts to fade I need some fake tan and I thought I've got my graduation coming up. I want to make sure, like that's in November, I want to make sure I look really nice and bronzed and natural. So I thought I'll just stock up now because there's probably, I don't know when the next time it will be on offer. So I got that. It's beautiful. I absolutely love it. So when I've like my tan's faded I will be like reviewing this and using it so look out for that and then another tanning product I bought a face tanner and I bought the Clarins liquid bronze self tan this had about 10-20% off it so it wasn't too bad and I do use the Zen tan face tanner but I find that sometimes it makes me look a little bit orangey so I thought I'd get this one quite a few of my favourite beauty vloggers rave about this they say that it leaves you like a really nice natural glow so I thought I'll get it it's on offer um no one really likes having the whole tan orange face syndrome, so I got that as well. So I will be no excuse to be pale this winter. I will be a bronze goddess. <laughs> so next I popped to Ikea on Thursday. I don't know if you can see, but I have new bedding. Ooh, for like floral bedding. I saw this on Ikea. I literally squealed and like proclaimed my boyfriend that this duvet was the duvet that dreams were made of and there's this other couple like looking at beds nearby and I think they just looked at me as if I was like a right freak they were like okay so yeah I, I, I managed to twist my boyfriend's arm um, so yeah I'll show you the pillowcase it's this duvet here apparently it's not online because I have Instagrammed a picture of this so if you've got a local Ikea to you or you're going to Ikea in the near future look out for this it's a double bed I got four pillowcases I'm amazed four pillowcases 
Usually with bedding you get two pillowcases, but this you get four, and it was £20, which I think is quite a good price for a double duvet. It's really, really comfy, it's really snuggly, I absolutely love it. Um, and it's also very Cath Kidsony, but obviously half, maybe even a quarter of the price. So yeah, absolutely love this bed, and they've got like a white version too, but that just wouldn't work. Me, fake tan, white bedding, it's not good. Moving on to clothes, I've just realised I've left the radio on, so if you can hear like Justin Bieber in the background, that's why, apologies for that. So, um, I made a bit of a Topshop order. First thing, the white vest I'm wearing, this is it. I've got a bikini on underneath, sorry about that. Um, See, so yeah, I got this white vest, I'm really into the whole just simple t-shirt and vest at the moment, so I bought this, I really like it, I think it was like £9, who knows. Um, I made advantage of Topshop's free standard delivery last week, my Topshop student, not my Topshop, but my student's car's going to run out soon, so I was like, right, I'm going to make advantage of this. I bought another top, but it's going back because I felt it's completely not worth the money, so that's like packaged up, ready to go. And then I bought this um, like jersey top, and I really like the whole cut out shoulder thing at the moment because you can like show your tan off. So I bought this grey marl speckled like long three quarter leave, quarter sleeve jersey. It's got like a cut out shoulder, and that's what it looks like. I really like it. I just thought it would be really nice with jeans. It's like not really, it's like casual, but it's you can also dress it up a little bit too, so I really like that. And it was £14. So they do it in like white and black, so yeah. I really like that, I'm sure I'll wear it in the video, like, soon. Next, I made an Urban Outfitters order, and this never happens, because I don't really go in Urban Outfitters, because I think I'm not cool enough, and I never go on the website, because it just confuses me. Anyway, you all know I love Caroline Flack, she wore this really gorgeous like indigo lace dress to film judges houses in Dubai and I was like, ooh, that's really nice. I follow quite a few of those blogs that are like, get the look and it said that it was a dress from Urban Outfitters, clicked on the link thinking it's going to be really expensive, it was £20 in the sale. They had my size and I thought, I'm going to go for it. The delivery was £1, so that was absolutely amazing. Um, so yeah, it's from Urban Outfitters and the make is called Pins and Needles. So this is what it looks like, it's got like a chiffon front and then it's got these really cute lacy sleeves and then it's like a lace skater style dress and then it's got like a scallop lace edge but I absolutely love it. But something happened, right, it came on Friday night, I had a really late delivery, I was really excited to try my stuff on. So I got this on and I just wanted to say, this is a disclaimer, I fit into this dress, this dress fits, okay? You'll understand why in a minute. So I go to put this dress on and it's obviously one of those dresses that you need to put on over your head instead of step into it. I usually step into stuff because I don't want to get like makeup on it. So I stepped into it and it had a bit of a struggle when it got to like my bum and I basically had to yank it. Like I said, my big bum did not cause the dress damage, okay? Right. So I basically yanked it over my bum thinking oh bugger I should put it over my head and I just heard like the zip make a funny noise and I was like oh no what have I done hoping it was nothing I turned it around and I broke the bloody zip hadn't I so um what it is is the zip is like that so the zip's broken and when my boyfriend got home I was like I haven't broke it because my big bum it does fit me I promise I tried it on and the zip will go up in fact it's maybe a little bit too big for me um, and he was like, Cory, there's like teeth missing at the bottom, so he was like, it probably did work, and like you probably did like break it when you yanked it, but it was a bit of a dodgy zip, so it probably was going to break anyways, and I was like, oh, thank God for that. There was me like thinking, Cory, step away from the biscuits, your big bum broke a dress. It didn't really, so that's fine. But yeah, so I've managed to break the zips, which is really annoying, and like I said to my boyfriend, do you think I can fix it? And he was like, no, the, there's teeth missing, so I think you're going to have to take it to get altered, so I'm going to take it, like to go get a zip fix, so I'm guessing that it's not going to cost too much to just have a z new zip put in it. Like I would send it back but they've sold out of the dress and I really like it, this is so nice on. I haven't got anything this colour, I really love the fit of it, it's just gorgeous, I absolutely love it. I thought I could wear it to my boyfriend's graduation or I can just wear it like throughout winter, so um, I really love it. And also Caroline Fleck has it which is like a bonus. So yeah, that's the tail. If you have this dress, I will try and link it. They might still have some sizes left. I will try and link them down below. But um, 
if you have this dress and you have like a bigger bum than a big than a top or something don't put it on or be careful of the zip or you might do what I did but the teeth were missing it wasn't just my big bum I promise okay so yeah um next I bought some floral shorts I had a bit of a craving for floral shorts after I've been reading Ashley Bell I think that's her name um, fashion blog. She is Ashley in Revenge and I've got such a girl crush on her at the moment. I love her blog. Her outfits are just amazing. They're right up my street. They're like really simple but just really chic. Um, and she was wearing these like floral shorts and I fell in love with them. You could buy them online but they were sold out and then I was at work. Someone tried these on and I was like oh they're really nice. They didn't like them thankfully and they were in my size and in a sale. So yeah I picked these up. They're from Warehouse. I don't work at Warehouse, by the way. I know a lot of people are like, asking where I work. I don't physically want to give the name of the shop because, like, I know it's a bit of a thing that, like, head office don't like it when you, like, say where you work. And if I ever came home and put on Twitter, I've had a rubbish day at work, it kind of looks bad on them. So all I'm going to say is I work in retail. Um, and that's it, basically. So, yeah, I picked these up. They were £17 in the sale. I think they reduced from, like, 45 which is a bit of a bargain. And I really like them. They are, like, high-waisted. They've got this cute floral print. And I just thought, like, yeah, I can wear them now while the weather's still nice. But I can also wear them, like, in the winter with tights and stuff. So, yeah. I picked those up. Don't you think they're really cute? They look really cute with, like, a white t-shirt and this collar necklace. Okay, so next, a little bit of a Primark haul. Um, I have showed a few of these things on my blog already, so apologies, but I thought I'd include them in case you missed them, and I picked up some right gems. First of all, I picked up these jeans, and oh my god, these are identical to the Topshop Lee jeans. I love the Topshop Lee jeans so much. They're really soft, they're really, really skinny. Um, so yeah, I picked these up. They're called the Super Soft, Ultra Soft Super Skinny Jeans. They look like this. They were £11 and they are exactly the same as the Lee jeans. It's amazing. Next, I picked up this amazing clutch bag. How gorgeous is this? It looks just like the one from Zara. It's amazing. It was £6. I absolutely love it. I'm loving studs at the moment and it's just amazing. It's really big so I can fit loads of stuff in. It's just brilliant. So yeah, that was six quid. What a bag. I also got these like cute ballet pumps that are also studded from Primark for £6. No, they weren't £6, they were £12, I'm lying. That's what they look like. I really love them. I picked them up and I was like a magpie. I was like, oh, I've got to have them. But I'm not so sure about them on. I feel a bit like Hugh Hefner. Like, can you see what I mean there? Like a bit like Grandad's slippers. Like when I put them on, I kind of feel like I just need a robe, like a silk robe. And some playboy bunnies on my arm and like a cigar I feel like I'm I don't know but yeah I feel like I'm Hugh Hefner when I wear them so maybe they'll grow on me or maybe not maybe I'll have to give them to my sister or something but yeah I thought they were really cool like they're really nice for like Primark finally I picked up a navy blazer I love Primark's blazers so much they're like how much was this 15 pounds and they're so nice they go with everything they're not too smart that you can't not wear them with jeans but you can still dress them up. So yeah, I got a navy one and I just thought I would wear that with loads. Yay. Okay, so I'm going to go now. This video has been really long. Hope you have a great week. Remember, any requests, let me know down below. And I'll see you soon. Bye.